Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I want to show you how I do some photo bashing using Keyshot and Photoshop. So these are some files as they come out of Keyshot and this is basically rendered with, with orthography turned on, orthographic projection turned on. So there is no perspective at all added to any of these pictures here. So I've sped this up so you can see this a little better, but there's also in the actual RGB channel, there's actually drop shadows also. So you can use, choose to use the drop shadows or not. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm looking at, uh, basically copying this little this little segment here and I'll do a control C and then I'll basically uh, control and paste it on another on another uh, uh, a document so and I'm just I'm just kind of going around and doing that for different ones and move, move, moving these around uh, and creating some sort of composition right so get kind of get an idea how that works um, you can choose any one of these because they're all uh, rendered in the same basic orthographic projection so you can take any of these that you want and then once you've done that uh, it's just a simple matter of creating a smart object out of them and then applying this uh, uh, the, uh, a very uh, similar and accurate uh, uh, perspective uh, distortion to it. Also, you may notice there's a little tiny shadow or a, light, uh, a shadow, uh, a white background graphic. We'll get to that in a second. So here, I, I put some of these things in here, some cards, and this is a reality board. And these are all rendered, the, the original documents are 10 uh, 10K, so they're really large, they're rendered key shot really large. So now I'm basically going to go over here and, uh, you know, kind of add some transform to this so I can kind of get, get an idea of what I want to do for the uh, perspective. Um, and uh, in this case, I decided I'll just use the distort as opposed, uh, as opposed to a perspective distort, distortion. So you see, as I'm adding a little bit of distortion there, I'm just getting a little bit of uh, convergence, parallel, you know, parallel convergence. Then I want to go in here and select this color and uh, fill it in the background layer just kind of to make that little that background layer just match the, the, the kind of the off wide of everything else so you'll see how that works out and uh, so that kind of worked out pretty good now I'm going to show you how you use it with uh, you know the clown mask and so here we, we're basically going in here and we'll set the tolerance uh, eventually you know we notice that we when we select this clown mask make sure that you set the continuous at the very top when you're selecting it with the magic wand that continuous is important so uh, then you take the tolerance, we'll set to 70, something like 32, and then when we shift select each one of these, we have an object, and of course, it's uh, very easy to go from there directly into a, a new document. And so, now I'm going to show you how you use the perspective warp. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle anywhere, and then while we still got the rectangle uh, drawn, we're just using the mouse, we're positioning it where we want to. Then we hit the enter key, and once we hit the enter key, now we start moving these around and it'll just keep it in the proper perspective as we go. So you can see that worked out really good. And of course I can go back in and add other, uh, other parts of the project. Uh, let's go back in and grab like this little, what we'll call it, the card tent right there. We can grab these guys, copy them and paste them and move them in we want. Now we have a, a problem with that little drop shadow in the background. Kind of played around with this, thought I might be able to use blending to get it, but you can see that's not going to work because of the white and the actual card above. So what I decided to do is uh, uh, actually uh, let's get let's keep that, and then let's go and get the clown mask version and put it on top of it. So I can use the multiply layer once I once I line them up on top of each other. The bottom one I can set to multiply. And when I set it to multiply, of course it's just going to make whatever below it a little bit darker, right? So that the blend didn't work, but. As I do that, I think, oh, wait a minute, I just need to set it to multiply, and I'm good. So there I have a little drop shadow in there. I could probably possibly make it a little darker, but that works pretty good. Uh, and then, of course, again, um, I want to, uh, uh, basically, I was going to make a, a smart object, but I realized that that multiply wasn't going to work in that. So I can just select them both, uh, and then just do a transform with a uh, distort, and just kind of get them to fit in, you know, the way they, the, in more of a, uh, I'm, again, I'm looking at make sure that I'm getting to the same plane as the actual uh, mouse pad there. So that's about it. Hope that works.